rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> So they already know that I'm dropping a T. So let's get right into it. A woman by the name of Jasmine took to her Facebook to say the following. First, let me start by saying I'm a warrior. I have been in this abusive relationship for two years. I used to say it wasn't bad enough to leave because he was never hitting me in my face. This boy has hit and disrespected me too many times. Early yesterday, I had thoughts going through my head asking myself, will I make it out this time? Because if I would have hit my head just right when I was pulled by my hair out my car, or if he would have kicked me just right, I could have been dead. I've made many excuses to make him look good while I look dumb by him. I did nothing to provoke this boy and it was God with me because I had no help. His sister, which is also a used to be lifelong friend, went to take my phone when I attempted to call for help. Yeah, family first, but right is right and wrong is wrong. I'm posting this because I used to be ashamed and embarrassed. My message is, if it happens one time, it'll happen again. Wow, yeah, this is a powerful message. And like she said, if it happens one time, it will happen again, okay? We decided to share this because we know that way too many women are being domestically abused as we speak and are in these toxic relationships with these narcissistic men, or should I say narcissistic boys, right? Let me tell you, if he puts his hands on you, girl, he does not love you. Even if he only hits you once, don't think for one second that it won't happen again, especially when he sees that you tolerated it the first time and he got away with it, or it's going to happen again I know if I could hit once, I could hit twice. and the crazy thing is some of them really hit women unprovoked because they want to feel macho and to be sure that they're in control especially when they don't run nothing else they want to at least run you don't let that go over your head mental illness is real and that's a form of mental illness if you ask me you gotta take mental illness seriously way too many women are literally being killed by their lovers every day so don't ignore the signs like the jasmine in this story what if her head was to hit the pavement or whatnot then what so no matter how embarrassing you might feel to walk away because you might feel like it's going to look crazy to do so because the whole world knows that that's your man and you've been showing him off all over social media it doesn't matter just walk away at least you'll walk away with your life okay sis say you feel like you need him because he's the breadwinner or whatever and if you leave you and your kids will be homeless there are shelters out there that will let you in and keep you safe from him boo so yeah i know that people are out here idolizing toxic relationships like they're cool but they're not so do the right thing hold your head up high and get out trust me you're strong enough for real i just thought that i had to share this so if this even encourages and helps one person to escape abuse with their life then my job is done here okay but we really want to know what your thoughts are on this issue, so leave them below. And don't forget to like, share, and sub to this channel for more. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Pettyblog.com signing out.